My name is Devin C. Millette. I'm from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. My bike is a 1997 XLH 1200 custom hardtail chopper. It started off as a just pure stock purple and chrome 1997 XLH. During the Minnesota winter, I brought my bike inside of our bedroom. You know, God bless my wife for putting up with me for this. And I tore every single piece off that bike down to the bare frame, sandblasted it and chopped it in half, put on a throttle addiction hardtail with it at my buddy Jay Spain's shop. Uh, we welded it up, mocked up our fenders, our gas tanks. At this point, it was like January. So I was trying to come up with an idea and just drawing out different paint schemes, what I like. I got connected with Peter Lex out of Grand Meadow, Minnesota who I gave my drawings to, and he was like, I'll make it happen, man. And he painted up my tank, made it perfect. He gave me hot rod flames on one side, the classic chopper guy sunrise on the other, and then just some cool waves on the top. Put in six over tubes in the front, chrome spoke wheels in the rear and the front. Um, I, did, I chopped up my cam cover and my sprocket cover to make it kind of look like an old generator uh, big twin which yeah, it might be posers but I, I like and slapped a chain on it um, I threw on I wired it up as minimal as possible too with just old cloth covered um, wiring and I set it up to just run off of key switch on and then a start button lever connect this directly to the starter a 2.1 narrow Frisco tank on it. I've ran out of gas about five times. <laughs> Throttle addiction, nine inch vintage narrow apes, which I freaking love. Originally, I actually had rabbit ears on there. I rode it for one year and I'm like, ah, uh, you know, not for me, not for me. They look cool, but they are sketch city, man. Just a little added detail that I like is the vintage cloth spark plugs with the throttle addiction ivory boots on them that are fin. Just that little contrast in there really makes it pop. Other than that, I put a Barnett clutch in it. I did N4 Andrew cams in the engine. Yeah, that's kind of it. Anti-gravity battery too, they kick ass. Yeah. I went in blind. Absolutely blind. I went in before Throttle Addiction released their videos on how to use their hardtail, how to build it and stuff. So I just kind of got it and I just, you know, read the paper instructions and went with it. No welding experience at all. And that's what my, uh, my friend Jeremiah Spain, he was like, hey, bring it to my shop, man. You know, we'll go through all through it. I'll teach you how to weld. We'll cut it. And uh, we did and it was really easy, really smooth. The one problem I had with this was my 97. When I cut the cam cover, um, I trimmed it down, all the extra metal that you don't need on it. There is a little hole. I don't know why this hole's here, but it's there and it goes straight through the bottom. And I didn't notice it when I cut all the extra metal off. And when I put it back on, I started the bike and oil just started hissing through it. And so I just, plugged it up with uh, some red Loctite and a self-tapping screw and haven't had, haven't had a leak since. So it's been killer, pretty smooth. My favorite ride that I've taken it is, so in Minnesota, you're from Eau Claire, so you might know the flood run route. Um, so that's basically from Minneapolis, you take, you go over to 10 and then you go into Prescott, Wisconsin. And from there you take 35 down to the St. Croix and it is just such a beautiful ride. I took it out like mid-October with my friend John and it was beautiful colors all around. I was on my chopper, he was on his and we were just all day riding the road all the way down to Wabasha and then, you know, kind of back up and everything. Uh, stopped in Maiden Rock because you got to stop in Maiden Rock. And that's, that's probably my favorite ride until probably this August where I'm going to take that chopper up to the UP of Michigan and ride Lake Superior. Honestly, when I got into bikes, I just like, my first bike, I just couldn't leave it alone. I'm a guy that I like to put my personal touch into things. My mentor who became my mentor, his name is Daniel Hedberg. He was, is really into the old school chopper scene. He gave me some magazines and some ideas. And when I saw this stuff and when I really like looked at him, I'm like, that's what I want to do. I want to do 
choppers. This is like what I feel like my uh, being in motorcycles is. I just love the idea of making something bone stock into your own personal machine. When someone sees it, they're like, oh yeah, that's, that's Devin's bike, or you know, oh yeah, that's, that's Zach's bike, or oh, that's Daniel's bike. Being able to distinguish that stuff is what makes it your own. That's what I love about it. From Throttle Edition, I got the spark plug wires and boots, ivory with the fins on them. I've got the Throttle Edition hardtail. I've got the Throttle Edition horseshoe oil tank and battery holder on it. And then the Throttle Edition uh, trailer flat fender. I believe it's five inches across. Um, Throttle Edition sissy bar on it. I've got the king and queen uh, diamond stitch from Throttle Edition and the nine inch uh, chrome vintage narrow ape hangers from Throttle Addiction. My name is Devin Millett. I'm from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. You can follow me on, what can they follow me on? They can follow me at Devin C. Millett on Instagram. I am not very active on it. <laughs> With thousands of chopper parts, a 90 day return policy, and free shipping on orders over $100, ThrottleAddiction.com is the best place to build your dream bike. Check out their selection of custom handlebars, fuel tanks, made in the USA hardtails, and so much more. For more than a decade, Throttle Addiction has been manufacturing and selling the best custom parts on the market. Build, customize, and ride with ThrottleAddiction.com.